if you were to read the vice president address, he spoke for about an hour and presented to us about 110 pages of document. I've taken the pain to read through some of the documents, in fact, through the entire document. Unfortunately, he started lying from page three. <laughs> page three, that is when the lies started. And um, um, on the minute, he started lying on the six minute, 15 seconds. So that is when the lies started out of the entire, entire um, one and a half hour speech. So the lies wasn't good. And let me quote from him what he said. He said here, paragraph six, the first lie, I will take you through the rest of the lies. The first lie, he said that the economy ended in 2012 with a fiscal deficit of 12.2% of GDP, 11.7% in 2013, 11.9% in 2014, before falling to 6.7% in 2015, but rose again to 9.3% in 2016. This is the words according to our vice president. But we know data don't lie. According to the Ministry of Finance, again, if the guy can show me, you see that official data from the Ministry of Finance indicated clearly that the overall fiscal deficit, the overall balance by end of year 2017 was 7.8%, not the 9.3% that the Vice President is talking about. So clearly you've seen the lies there. But what surprises me is that he picked new series of GDP and then for their time, because the denominator obviously is bigger, and pick old series under the NDC to show a negative impression. Even if you were to compare that, you would notice that on the new series, the fiscal deficit we left behind is 6.1% of GDP, new series GDP, and can never be seen as 11.3% of GDP. Even if it's old, it's 78 So I don't know what he's talking about. I only want to caution His Excellency the Vice President that you cannot be the head of economic management team and decide to lie with fiscal data. Impossible. You can't do that. Because when you are to do that, you are harming the very economy you claim to be the head. You are harming it. No wonder yesterday the city depreciated or moved. Because the market will analyze these lies and see that something is wrong and obviously will react negatively. What this means is that tomorrow, if you are a businessman and you are to go out there to buy something, you will need more dollars than what you used to have before the vice president speaks. So I will uh, urge His Excellency the President to maybe restrain his vice president from talking because anytime he speaks, the currency will move because of the lies. Um, I, will, I will ask him to do that.